in the land of grills. Yeah, when's the last time we cooked on the PK Go? I've got some chicken wings all seasoned up and I wanna do them indirect. And the PK Go, folks, I tell you what, when it comes to indirect cooking, any of the PKs, and I've had a couple of PK originals and I have the PK Go here, this is their portable PK. Remember this is an aluminum bathtub. You buy this and it's gonna last you. It's gonna last you forever. Take a close look at it. I'll leave a link down below to the review I did on this. But uh, when it comes to indirect, let me let me show you what's so special about this. All right, so when it comes to indirect, we're going to have the charcoal on this side. Our meat, our chicken wings are going to be on this side. And the way they have the vents set up here is that we have a vent. We have two vents on the bottom, this one and this one. This one's going to be open underneath the charcoal, letting the air in. Got the one right here uh, closed and it forces that smoke and heat over to this one where I have it open and the bottom closed. So everything that's over here goes over here indirect along with the smoke. And we've done uh, one modification to this through the years, and that was to put this temp gauge on the indirect side. When I cook, I always cook indirect over here. And that just gives me an idea where we are with the indirect. Take a look on the inside here, cast iron grates. And they've got a whole lot of setups for the, for this thing. Uh, with uh, you can take that part off and use it like a hibachi also and uh, I, I got all that so what I did was I took advantage of the slot here which is for a uh, temp probe and I just uh, used the same hole and uh, <laughs> put in a temp probe super simple but like I said cast iron grates aluminum tub even the hinge is casted right into the top and the bottom so you don't have to worry about the hinge breaking a really really good design here by the pk folks we're gonna we've got our orange bag bnb we're gonna get that fired up put some more on top of that then get this good and uh good and hot get a pan underneath there already to catch the drippings and i tell you what let's go take a look at these wings because i got them seasoned up already. get her fired up all right there's our wings all cut up and ready to go uh now i put in just a couple little splashes of the Zang stir fry oil. This is garlic infused and folks, it's very, very good. And it acted as a good binder because I'm using this famous Dave's Blue Ribbon Rub. And I've used this before in wings, it's very good. And uh, if we get a little high in the heat, it'll be okay because there's no sugar in this. So let's get it on the PK. All right, wings are on. As you can see, smoke's rolling on the PK. See, temps are... Um, I gotta look closer at that. A little above 300 on the indirect side. That's good. That's what we want. I want to wait all night, and I'll give you just give you a look here as the smoke rolls. And that's an example of what I'm talking about here. We've got our uh, B and B over there. We've got a chunk, two chunks, two small chunks of hickory on there, and uh, that's going to give us some smoke. And then we got the heat. And I tell you what, folks, this is the way to do wings. And it's going to be delicious. Keep on going, give you a look-see. All right, folks, just want to show you, it's been a little less than 30 minutes, probably closer to 20, 25. Yeah, oh, look at that. <laughs> uh, we're gonna give them a flip and uh, keep on going. All right, just a little open pit on one side. Oh man, look at that. That's ready to eat right there. <laughs> Chicken wings on the PK. Very delicious. Oh man, look at our wings there. Let's just grab one of them. One of the drummies here. Take a taste test. Oh wow. All right. The famous Dave's. Wow. And then the open pit, just on, I said open pit, just on one side. Combination is phenomenal. These wings. <laughs> Our killer. Tom Horseman YouTube. Give this a shot. On the PK Go. Thanks for watching, folks.